Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom workout in Garmin Connect on your mobile phone and then upload it and use it on your Garmin. Let's get to it. GPS watches are fantastic tools for runners and they have some really cool features that can take your running to the next level if you know how to use them properly. And Garmin are probably the most popular GPS watch for runners, especially the Forerunner range. And I've been using them myself now for probably 15 to 20 years. I first had the 301, I replaced that with a 205, and I currently have the 235, Forerunner 235. Brilliant bit of kit. But when you get your Garmin, you have the ability to sync it to your mobile phone. And that's fantastic for a number of reasons. I mean, you can see all your data on there. That's one. But also with the app that's on the phone, Garmin Connect, you can also create your own custom workouts. And that's a great way of really helping you with things like interval sessions. Any workout where you have to change in pace or change in some other aspect of your intensity or anything else in terms of running, it's a fantastic way of doing that without having to keep looking at your watch because you can set it so that it gives you a reminder when you're supposed to change pace and whatever. And you can have a quick glance down and says what you're supposed to be doing at that point. I use them all the time. I'm now going to show you how easy it is to set up on Garmin Connect and then get it on your Garmin to be able to use it. Before I get started in Garmin Connect, I'm going to just have a quick look at what a typical interval session looks like. So for that, I'm going to open my Just Coach app. And here you can see a base training plan that I have assigned myself. And if we look at the calendar, you can see today we've got some cross training in the schedule, but I know that tomorrow is an in full session and some strength condition work. So if we look at the actual speed session, it is an interval session, okay? And here we can see we've got a 15 minute warm up in five times 10 seconds fast, that's the interval part, with a minute and a half or 90 second recovery jog in between, and then a cool down at the end of it. And that is basically what we're gonna duplicate now inside of Garmin Connect. Log out of this and go into Garmin Connect. If you haven't used this before to set up any workouts for yourself, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So on the home page, we click more, which is in the bottom right hand corner. Then we click on training. Then we click on workouts. And as you can see, I'm quite into creating my own custom workouts. I've got quite a few already done. I'm gonna show you how to do one of these. So we're gonna click create workout, then click on run. And there we already have a sort of the, the bones of a workout set up for you already which is, has basically a warm up, a run in the middle, and then a cool down. Now, because it's not easy to swap things around, the first thing I normally do is get rid of the cool down and the run part, and then I will add those in later. And if you remember from what we looked at just now, everything's in time, which is the easiest way to do it for base training purposes anyway. So we're gonna look at the um, duration type and we're going to change that to time. So everything's in time in this particular interval session. We can do it in a mixture of time and distance, but for now, just to keep things simple, we're going to have it all on time. So we set the duration for that. If you remember, it was 15 minutes. Press done. Go back arrow. So we've got the warm up as 15 minutes. Now we need to add a repeat because this is an interval session. We're going to have several repeats. And it was, I think it was five, wasn't it? Five times 10 seconds. So we up this to four. And again, we need to put this as a duration type of time and set it for 10 seconds because that was the fast bit, was 10 seconds. Click done, back. So now we've got the first fast interval at 10 seconds and we have a recovery period. It's already in time and it says three minutes. We're gonna drop that down to a minute and a half. So again, we come back here, we look at the duration and we change it to a minute and a half or 90 seconds. There you go. Done. Then back again. Now we've got four of our, our 
intervals, we need to add another one. So we add a step. This is a run step. Same as before, then we go into it. We change the duration time types to time. Then back and change that to 10 seconds again. Press done, back arrow. There we are now. We have our five 10 second intervals with 90 second recoveries. Last thing to do is to add the cooldown. So just add another step, click on it. The step type again, we want to change to this time a cooldown. Back, and then we want to set the duration type from distance to time. Press back, and then set the actual time as another 15 minutes for the cooldown. Click done, press back, and there you have it. That's your run workout of five 10 second intervals with a 90 second recovery jog in between, 15 minute warm up, 15 minute cooldown, all done. So if you click save now on the top right hand side and give it a name. And because I wanna be able to show you this quite easily, I'm gonna give it a strange name. I'm gonna call it Bob, because otherwise it won't stand out particularly well. It won't be easy to, to find. So we're gonna call this Bob and save it. And there you are. And the reason why I called it Bob is because it's right on the top. Okay, and if we click back to the home page, there are several ways you can then do this. As we just looked on that training schedule, it was in my calendar for tomorrow. I can do the same thing on here. I can just click calendar down the bottom, click on tomorrow's date, no data there. But if you click on those three dots in the top right hand corner, and then add a workout, and then click on Bob. There you go. Bob is now added to the calendar for the 6th of May, same as in my other schedule. There it is. So we click on there, nothing in the, on the 7th, nothing on the 5th, but we've got something tomorrow, which is a Bob workout. And again, you can click on Bob workout and bring it up. All right. Right, so from the home page, in order to sync this then to your Garmin, just click the uh, sync button, which is the top right hand corner here, the blue arrows looking at each other. That will then sync that and send that new interval session, that workout to your Garmin. Let's see what that looks like then on the Garmin itself. And excuse my shaky camera work, I am trying to hold the camera and look at it and talk to you at the same time. Anyway, let's see how to find that on the Garmin. So if we press the Running Man button, then it comes up to the main run screen. We want to then get to the menu function. So that's the bottom button here. And then down to training. So down to there to training again. Click on training. And we want to go to the training calendar, could we put that in there for tomorrow? In the calendar, tomorrow, do workout, use run, warm up 15 minutes. There you go. So there's Bob. And that's it. And then start it. And I've got 15 minutes of a workout. Warm up, sorry. And if we just want to have a look at the uh, work out and see how it is on here. Again, click the running man button, the menu, training, training calendar. We know where it is in there for tomorrow and it's called Bob. So we click on that, but rather than do the workout, we click the bottom arrow here, we can view it. We see it has six steps in it. 15 minute warm up. So then down arrow to the next step. It's the first 10 second run, then a 130 recovery. We'll repeat that four times, then another 10 second run, and then we cool down for 15 minutes. So there you are, that's it. If you found this video useful, then please give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. And if you want to know more about how to train for a specific race or to get the most out of your running, or indeed, if you're interested in the base training plan that I mentioned in this video, then click on the comments below and you'll find a link to the Running Directions website. 
And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll get back to you when I can. And until the next video, happy running. GPR. <laughs> okay. Start again. If you find this. Oh, <laughs>